What's going on, all you movie lover maniacs out there? Fat Samurai Guy is here with... The booze bitch. <laughs> the booze bitch. <laughs> Coming off another migraine, baby. Booze already? Booze? Really? Wow. Migraine. <laughs> migraine. I earned it. <laughs> Fat Samurai Guy is here with Lady Fat Blood. And today we are going to watch a trailer for a film that came out last week. It was released last week, so we're a little late on this, but it's called Bad Samaritan, uh, starring the talented David Tennant. Now, our first introduction to David Tennant, I know he's done a lot of work, mm. but our very first introduction to the actor was with Doctor Who. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's fun! Uh -huh. Come on! Uh -huh. And uh, he's very charismatic as the Doctor, and he was, he was a lot of fun. And in your opinion, did the show even skyrocket to even more, you know, heights well, and more popularity when he came along? Well, uh, depending on who you talk to, um, obviously the show was on a hiatus for a very long time. Right. Um, they tried to bring it back in the mid-90s. It didn't work. They finally brought it back in 2005 with Christopher Eccleston. He uh, lasted one season, and then they brought in David Tennant, and where Doctor Who was popular when it came back, David Tennant's tenure as the Doctor absolutely blew up, right, and right, right. the the seasons, you know, everybody everybody pretty much jumped on board. He's probably among a lot of people's favorite Doctor for the new Doctor Who scene. Right, right. right. Um, you know. To each his own, different strokes for different folks. True. Uh, I, I remain comment free on that. I did enjoy him very much as the Doctor when the show was good and when it wasn't <laughs> pissing me off. Um, but, but he I, was fun. I did, I did thoroughly enjoy him as the Doctor when he was clearly enjoying the show. I think there came a point where he was probably... Kind of phoning it in a little bit. I wouldn't say that you could say that. You could right. say that, but, um, it, you know... What you get used to something and the stories get a little meh, you're going to do what you got to do yeah. to get through it. That's true. But when, when the show was at its, at its good points, he was a lot of fun to yeah. watch. He was just, just hilarious, very charismatic, and um, we became fans of him as the Doctor. But uh, in terms of playing uh, other characters outside of the Doctor, we've only been introduced uh, with two other roles. Um, one, he played a kind of funny character in Fright Night, the Fright Night remake. Which I loved <laughs> his character. In. Yeah, that yeah. That was a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> he was fun to watch in that. And in terms of playing dark characters, we really haven't seen anything else besides his uh, role in, as Kilgrave mm -hmm. in the Jessica Jones season one. And uh, his performance as Kilgrave... Uh, was very good. It was very good seeing him play a kind of a dark role for a change. Um, we enjoyed his acting as Kilgrave. It's just that the character of Kilgrave's motivations was, we thought was lacking a little bit. We were like, eh. But his performance was really good. So let's go ahead and check out Bad Samaritan. I have absolutely no idea what we're in for. Yeah, we no idea. We've seen we've seen images of the trailer floating around for a while, images, but we've but, never really sat down and watched it. Yeah. For the record, yes, I know David Tennant has played a really creepy character in some other. I don't remember. If, I don't know if it's a series or if it's a made-for-TV movie. Oh, in, in really? BBC or British okay. TV land. Uh, some of y'all are gonna know what it is. I have not looked it up. I know. He's Let us know in the doing, comments below. I know he's known for doing something creepy, but. I cool. Don't know, I, don't, I don't know anything about this. Neither, cool. neither of us know anything about Let's this. Let's go ahead and check this out. Bad Samaritan trailer number two. Let's do it. Hey. Out of chaos comes order. I define the chaos. I create the order. You understand? No! Oh, you beauty. 
Seriously? Black <laughs> car. <laughs> Shut up, dog, for real? Everything cool on your end, yeah? We're just getting their salads now, man. Girl tamed up in the office. Sorry to disappoint you. You're gonna stay on it, right? You're gonna keep searching for the girl? Stop harassing him. Oh. What's wrong? We're not safe. Both of us. It's all good, I got your back. It said May. Okay. So it hasn't. Oh. Oh. Okay. So right. it hasn't come out yet. Oh, we're idiots. All right. That looks like fun. That does look pretty good. That looks like a lot of fun. That it looks, looks good. It looks, it looks like David's having fun there, trying on his little American accent, and <laughs> it's okay, bud. It's okay, sweetie. You got thick ass Scottish accent there, man. I ain't gonna blame you for nothing. <laughs> That looks, like that fun. looks like, pretty good. Like he man. looks like he's having, I don't know. Yeah. A nice little evil little uh -huh. one there. Aw. And for a second there, I was kind of like, you know, with these horror movies, <laughs> or this could be just a thriller actually, you know, sometimes you root for the damn killer. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you root for the killer because uh, you got stupid dumbasses. Yeah, let's just take some dude's car. Yeah, go, go in his let's house. Let's just take his car and go, yeah, rob him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, David, kill him. It's you have my permission, David. Go ahead. <laughs> that, oh. looks, that looks pretty damn yeah, good. Yeah, that looks like fun. Yeah, that looks that looks good. I could I could go for a watch of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. You said it comes out in May. Yeah, May 4th. Okay, I thought okay. it came out in March. Cool. Maybe it was released earlier in uh, other parts of the country, maybe. Oh, better. Maybe. I don't know. Not, that looks pretty, that looks as pretty of, good. As of here in the U.S. of A? Nope, not yet, apparently. Sorry. I always love it when... Um, Actors really show uh, their skill when they kind of play outside the box and yeah. play against type. Yeah. Uh, we were talking earlier, I was talking to the sexy sumo, <laughs> and we were talking about Sylvester Stallone and Copland, mm. how he played against type. Uh, the Rock in the movie Snitch mm. basically played a regular dude, didn't really play an action hero. And it's good to see actors you know play against type i think that's why i love david Tennant so much in fright night yeah. <laughs> he, he yeah. was he was thoroughly entertaining yeah. as that character if yes. you've ever seen him he was like a chris angel uh bullshitter <laughs> like it was awesome <laughs> oh another good example is uh was it daniel radcliffe mm. he that guy Dude, Harry Potter guy is on he's on him he's on fire man what was the movie you saw? he plays he plays um oh i can't remember it right now but that guy's playing all kinds of out yeah. there roles, and, yeah, you gotta, and, and you gotta, it's it's awesome. It's really good. I, I think that's probably the best way to go, and it's probably hard. It doesn't. It's probably not as hard this day and age. It seemed like thirty years ago it was a lot harder to break the stereotype of what you've been placed into, like character wise. Not everyone's going to be able to break out of it, right? But yeah. it, it seems like that's the way to do it now. Is if you have been typecast in certain roles to just. Go for it. And some people are lucky, luckier than others, to be able to go out there and find and be able to obtain different roles. But it, it like you said, it is good to see people that are known for mostly one thing. And David Tennant's got a, a very broad uh, body of work, including a lot of theater work. Right, um, right. Which we've never seen, obviously, because right. we live in the United States. Right. So we're not going to see theater. We're aware of it. We're not going to see English theater, theater, you know. We're not going to see that. Yeah. But it, it's good to see people 
doing something completely different and yeah. not having to always, you know, go mm-hmm. back and play the doctor every 10th anniversary special. <laughs> All right, so what else do you think about the movie? Uh, I want to see it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> It just this looks is like my kind of movie, yeah. man. What was, that? What was that one? I like I like the twists. What was that one movie with um um oh, Fraser's brother Niles um when he the perfect the host. perfect host yeah like that that was where good. it's very low key but it's all performance based yeah. and it's taught thriller suspense mm-hmm. type of situation that's what this is reminding me of where put a little it's twist all, on it yeah where it's yeah. very uh, typical. Um, Oh, you know, some kid gets into something unsuspecting and he's, you know, he has to get away from this, you know, psychopath, but performance based. Right. We're watching it for the performances, mm-hmm. so. I'm down. I'm interested. I can't wait to see this. Yeah. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think of Bad Samaritan. And also, just for fun, let us know who your favorite doctor is. Oh. <laughs> oh, you just started war, son. <laughs> Oh, come on. I had to ask. Come on. Wow. All right. You guys rock. Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. We'll see you guys next time. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe.